I know, but that's just how we are here. So in today's video, as you can see, we're in my bathroom again. No, this is not another DIY project, but technically it is because we're going to be fixing it, this hair and honey. So as you guys can see, I'm here with the scarf today because the braids, they're getting a little old. Well, not even. They're not even getting old. My hair is just growing out super, super fast. We're going to do an updated wash day routine video in in between protective styles now protective styles are my favorite thing y'all know i live in my wigs my sew-ins my weave my clip-ins my um my braids obviously um twists stuff like that i just love the you know versatility of black women in their hair but the least favorite part is the wash day okay because honey this hair is thick it's a lot it's a lot of upkeep a lot but i am excited today to show you guys a few new products that i am incorporating when it comes to in between wash days and when it comes to my wash day routine my blow dry routine stuff like that because i do have natural 4c hair so this might help some other people maybe maybe not you know you never know until you film the video so i'm gonna show you guys like what i do in between um you know protective styles so that i can keep my hair healthy pretty much um i'm not a licensed cosmetologist so this is just what i do you know when i don't go to the salon and i am excited today because we are going to be using some new products called the diamonds watch it grow and glow i'm going to be using the shampoo and the conditioner today also i'm going to be incorporating a new blow dryer brush that i found i'll link a similar one in the description box from amazon obviously so y'all can get it because we don't all have the same stores everywhere you know you know but i'm gonna look out for uses i'm gonna find a similar one and tag it so you guys can use it okay because this has shortened my wash day routine tremendously like tremendously tremendously so i'm gonna start rambling I'm about to take my braids out and then I'll be back <laughs> when I take them out so that you guys can see the growth because honey, look at, look at this. Child, look at how much they're growing out already. It's only been two weeks going on three. Like what? Are you kidding me? Wow. So I'll be back in a second. Now let's finally wash out all this gunk, flakes, and buildup out of my hair. As you can see, this is how my hair looks straight out of the braids. You can see all the product left behind. We're just going to wet it real quick. This is how it looks with just the water in it. The first product that we're going to use is from the Watch and Glow collection. And it, it, we are going to use the shampoo. All the ingredients are marked on the bottle, which is a great thing. Absolutely great. And I'm going to put an ample amount of this in my hair and just lather it up around my edges specifically because, again, that's where most of the gunk is and leftover product for the protective style that I had in previously is going to be built up at. After I really work that in into the perimeter of my hair, I am then going to put it in the middle of my hair and work it through as well. Then we're just gonna rinse that out. Here's how my hair looks once I rinsed out the shampoo and it was squeaky clean, guys. Next product I'm going to use is the conditioner. Again, all the ingredients are listed on the bottle. With conditioner, I go kind of crazy, so I put a lot of it in my hand. When I say a lot, I mean a lot, because as y'all can tell, my hair is very thick. So again, I move it through the perimeter of my hair first, that's my main focus, and then I work it through all of my hair. Once it's all the way in my hair, I then am going to take my easy detangler brush and I'm just going to comb that, well, basically brush detangle that product throughout all of my hair. And I don't have to do section by section because this brush is the truth. So now we are fully out of the shower. We are, you know, 
we are very dehydrated that's one thing i need to go get some water <laughs> but yeah i have my microfiber towel on top of my head right now it is from my friend sahara who also does my braids and my protective styles for me i will link her down below also i will link uh another video that she's in or probably you know so you guys can get refreshed if you don't know who she is or if you're more interested in seeing like my hair being done by her and stuff like that so as you can see um yeah my hair is in this towel i'll go ahead and take it off it's pretty much for the most part it's just pretty damp i mean not pretty damp because the towel gets a lot of the moisture out but here is how my hair looks like straight out of the towel um as you guys can see in the in the shower it was giving me like real defined curls with these products and i was not mad at it honey okay so yeah so what we got going on here the little fro let the fro breathe or whatever so every time i'm in between protective styles or even when i have a protective style going uh i always have some hair growth oil i usually use the um hair growth oil from the brand nurture but i I'm using obviously the brand that we have been featuring the whole video um, it is the diamonds watch it grow and glow hair growth oil so I'm just going to apply that there's no really rhyme or reason to applying um, hair growth oil just apply it to you can apply it to all your problem areas or anywhere where you don't think it's as thick as the others well my hair is mostly thick in the middle so i kind of avoid that area because i mean y'all it is so thick in the middle so i make basically make sure that i always hit my edges and i just massage that in some i don't want my hair too oily because when times to blow dry it you don't want too much oil all up in your hair okay and i just basically massage it in work my fingers okay so that it's stimulating my scalp <laughs> to you know take in the oil that i'm putting in it um i really like the applicator on this this is glass a little asmr for y'all this is glass so um i do like the applicator for real like the um the teardropper is that what it's called like the dropper <laughs> applicator i really like that and yeah basically i just make sure to get hair growth oil all around my perimeter to make sure because especially with protective styles it really breaks off easily around the perimeter of your hair so i make sure to get it in there and then a few droplets droplets <laughs> i can't even talk in between you know just the random parts of my hair and just work that in no um specific method when it comes to hair growth oil i make sure to always massage the oil in so it's not just sitting on top of my hair but we wanted to actually get to the scalp to help promote that growth you know like back in the day when your mom used to give you them hot oil treatments girl <laughs> it's kind of the same little trick here i love my little fro it looks so cute okay so now for the part that i'm most excited for the blow dryer so i just recently started using this and it is i'm telling you game changer it saves me so much time y'all like for real so i'm gonna have to take my glasses off once i start um blow drying i was trying to keep them on as long as possible when i was in the shower for y'all because i gotta see if i'm in focus and stuff <laughs> but yeah this i will link a similar one to this if not the exact one because i got this at the beauty supply store when i lived in conyers so i don't know if i can find it online but they all do the same thing girl i will link it down below so you guys can see again i have 4c hair so as you can see my curl pattern isn't really like coily it's kinky right so i just want y'all to see like let me see i'm gonna grab like a piece right here so you guys can see all right y'all see this right the shrinkage huh let me grab another piece here and I detangled my hair with that easy detangler brush, which I use every time I wash my hair um, in the shower. Okay, so here we go, a piece right here. We're going to take the blow dryer. Actually, first I'm going to take some hair cream from the same brand. Oh, it smells good. I am going to um, just take like literally a finger, rub it in my hands. 
because I I'm about to blow dry my hair and I don't want it to like get dried out so I just have about this much on my hands I'm just gonna work it in there this looks pretty aggressive but I swear to y'all I'm not smacking the hell out of my head right now this is like very light I'm touching the hair again my hair is like mad thick so to smack me in the head it kind of takes you a while to get to my scalp but basically yeah I'm just going to put this moisturizing cream all over my fro before I get to blow drying so that the hair can lock in some kind of moisture <laughs> look at my little uh my little fro hawk here <laughs> Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. This smells so good. It smells like it smells like tea tree oil, but not in the way that it's like, ooh, it smells like tea tree oil. It's like it smells really good. It's giving me like berries mixed with tea tree oil. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me take my glasses off. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start blow drying my hair. Okay, I'm gonna just part a section with my finger, it's no big deal because the brush itself will start to do the detangling for you. So I don't know if this will be too loud. If it's too loud, it'll be, yeah, I think it's too loud. So I'm just gonna like speed this up. Is it just me or does everyone like get super sleepy after they wash and blow dry their hair like this is exhausting so while i was doing my um i was trying to take the scrunchie off it popped so we have no scrunchie anymore but here is my hair here is how it looks blow dried and oh my god it feels so fresh i do this in between every protective hairstyle so never start a new install on a unclean scalp okay your hair will thank you and y'all this feels so good to do right now so this um these products that i have used will be listed down below in the description box this is pretty much all i do then i wait for my mom or somebody who knows how to braid to come over and i make them braid my hair down <laughs> so yeah when it comes to trimming i really don't trim my own hair because i again i don't know what i'm doing so i don't trim my hair so when I do go to the salon, which is like once in a blue moon, I let them trim my hair. It's just hair. It'll grow back. Um, yeah. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to shop all the black owned businesses down below in the description box. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.